In a casual t-shirt and sneakers, defense attorney Ken Irvin wasn't donning his usual attire. That's because after a break this morning, he would be tased in front of jurors for a demonstration. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> Yeah. Day eight of James Johnson and Zachary Camden's manslaughter trial got off to an eventful start with defense attorney Ken Irvin showing jurors what it's like to be tased. And we ask you here today to help us conduct a demonstration of a taser deployment and ideally to show the jury what neuromuscular incapacitation looks like. Yes, sir. Ben Bloodworth, a special master instructor from Axon, a company that makes tasers, stood behind Irvin, brandishing the bright yellow weapon. <laughs> Teeth clenched and visibly in pain, Irvin's body nearly went limp almost immediately. Two spotters were holding up Irvin as he was tased so he wouldn't hit the floor. What kind of um, fall-related injuries are possible? Uh, anything from a, a minor bruise to death. Irvin was only tased one time on his backside for five seconds with 19 pulses of electric current per second. When the 2019 incident occurred, Javier Ambler was tased twice by each deputy and once on the neck. Prosecutor Holly Taylor says his experience contrasted greatly with Irvin's and drove that point home for the jury when Bloodworth took the stand. There was no one on top of him <coughs> pushing him down when he was tased, correct? And... There was no one kneeing him in the head or neck. No, no. Camden and Johnson are accused of acting recklessly, tasing Ambler several times, despite the fact that he was telling them he had a heart condition and could not breathe while they attempted to arrest him. The greatest risks that we typically encounter are individuals that already have uh, predisposed to cardiac issues. Experts have testified that at over 400 pounds, Ambler was morbidly obese and had opioids in his system. After the defense rested, Judge Karen Sage let jurors go home for the day. They're expected to be handed the case by lunchtime tomorrow. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.